Michael Jean Sullivan's script solves the narrative problem of adapting George Orwell's novel 1984 for the stage, but not the dramatic problem. In Orwell's dystopian picture of a post-truth society, the main character, Winston Smith, works in the Ministry of Truth, rewriting history to conform with the current views of the ruling party. It is all Orwellian. But Winston nurtures a secret rebellion against the government. With his lover Julia, he stumbles upon a secret resistance organization, the Brotherhood. In the novel, both Winston and the reader build hope that this might actually be a way to freedom and a better life. But the Brotherhood, too, is a lie, set up by the government to trap anyone who might have thoughts of rebellion. O'Brien, the inner party member who guides Winston along the path to membership in the Brotherhood, becomes Winston's chief torturer when the trap is sprung and the dramatic tension built up in the reader's hopes reaches its climax and resolution in the destruction of that hope. When we entered the theater at the recent production of 1984 by the Department of Theater and Cinema Arts at the University of Missouri-St. Louis, Winston had already been captured. He was strapped down on a gurney in the middle of the stage, electrodes attached to his forehead. The drama was over. The play does tell the novel's story, but it's in retrospect as Winston answers the questions of his interrogators and confesses his crimes. Director Matthew Kearns and his designers, Glenn Anderson for set and lighting, Jennifer Krychek for costumes, Kevin Bowman for sound, and Andrew Woodard for projections, they successfully kept our attention held by the action and kept the tension tight within the scenes. The audience was on two banks of seats facing each other with the action in the middle, close to us. At one end of the playing area were cubicles for two technicians in the torture chamber. At the other was a raised video screen like the telescreens located in every room in 1984 that both broadcast government propaganda and that held the eye and ear of Big Brother watching you. Tony L. Marr Jr. played Winston on the gurney with impressive range, if not always complete clarity. The rest of the cast, all in basic military uniform with occasional character accessories, played multiple roles. Harry Menner was Winston in the retrospective scenes, and Jordan Cooper made a strong Julia Winston's lover and co-conspirator. Andrew Hartley was an especially aggressive interrogator, and Andrew Woodard was the kindly O'Brien. John Singer was impressive vocally and physically as O'Brien the interrogator and torturer. Sage Hayes and Kyle Mertens were the technicians. All did strong, consistent work, tense and energetic. 1984 is an incredibly rich book, certainly with relevance for this moment in our country. Probably no stage version could contain it all. What we saw in the Umsel production told the basic story clearly without the dramatic arc of the original. I miss the dramatic arc too. <laughs>